I was thinking just now about this tweet that I saw a while back from somebody on the old social medias regarding the lack of hangout spots for black people in the UK off the back of that slawn and obviously the beef that's happening within the, you know, the, the higher ups in the fucking contemporary art black world here in London. So I was thinking to myself, you know what, there, there is some truth to this because I will often complain on my side of nightlife I say that, you know, I go to a lot of techno parties, a lot of oots, 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 oots raves. And I often complain about feeling otherized in those spaces, right? Because I'm not queer, because I'm not LGBTQ, but I go to these type of events. Sometimes I feel like I get grouped within the cis white male kind of category of people and are kind of like, you know, shunned away or maybe people kind of squirm whenever you enter as opposed to me being, you know, maybe within the kind of, you know, um, specific crew of people who maybe are highlighted and protected and shit when it comes to the Flint LGBTQ plus folks. So it kind of is what it is. But apart from my issues, imagine how hard it must be, for lack of a better term, to be a normie black person in the UK who wants to go out somewhere to a bar and listen to some cool music and drink. There's not many places you can go to because unfortunately in the, in the UK, specifically in London, pub culture is basically a white thing it shouldn't be a white thing because pubs you know from what i remember the founding of pubs was mostly like a travel thing so when people were traveling throughout the uk these pubs were basically places where people could they kind of were referred to as watering holes as well where you could basically go and refresh yourself um, have something to eat have something to drink maybe even have a kip and then continue on to your travels but if there were travelers that would mean they came from all corners of the world, right? They came from all parts of the UK, all over Europe, the rest of the world. So most of pubs, especially back in the day when they were founded, were a real melting pot of people from all walks of life. But for some reason, in the modern age, on the modern day, or in the 21st century, most pubs, especially here in London, are mostly whitewashed. They, you know, from their decor to their interior to the people that are in there. They're not really places where a lot of black people would feel comfortable to go into. So if you don't want to go to a pub, you don't have to go to a cocktail bar. But then cocktail bars can be a bit stuffy. They can be a bit of a dead vibe. They can be overpriced. And they're just not the most fun places to go to. If you want fun, you'll probably go to a pub. But pubs, you're not really going to feel comfortable. But then if you want to feel comfortable, you go to a fucking cocktail bar, but they're not really going to be fun. So there's no real in-between, which then makes me think, this is probably the reason why the parties like recess and shit have become so popular because they're catering their raves and their parties specifically to the black community in the UK because we don't really have those parties, right? You even got the, the, the club night called R&B night and shit, right? But unfortunately, these are like party promoters that do events in different venues. There's no established pub. The only one I can think of is the Prince of Peckham. There's a place called, I think it's the Prince of Peckham, right? I think it's the Prince of Peckham. There's a spot called the Prince I think somebody even might have mentioned it here somewhere in the quotes. There's a pub in Peckham, I think it's the Prince of Peckham, that is quite possibly the only pub that I would assume has got a lot of black people in it. Um, black people do feel comfortable in it. All, bre all manner of people feel comfortable in it. Yeah, there we go. Somebody mentioned it here. The Prince of Peckham, Queen of the South, and the Haggerson and Dawson are the only places where I would imagine to see a lot of black people that would kind of enjoy their time there. So I'm thinking to myself, like, that might be something that I kind of look into kind of doing myself. And it also might be something that I think more people within the entertainment, you know, cultural, commentary, fun, podcasty type of space should look into doing. Instead of all these motherfuckers standing around or sitting around tables talking about, you know, whether or not your guy should pay for the first date or whether or not you would get flown out and all these sort of nonsense topics. Maybe one of the topics that people should kind of go around is creating some sort of space in nightlife where people that look like us can go and party have a good time people can go and perform people can go and just hang out and you know socialize and build community or maybe make some friends so that we've got like a legit place that you can go to every weekend to hang out because i was also thinking the other day when the future album dropped right when the metro Boomin and future album dropped we don't trust you i was thinking to myself like if i went to go out somewhere now and hear that music loud on a sister on a sound system and just order a ton of fucking Jaeger bombs, where could I go listen to that short shit? Like, where could I actually go? If I went to go somewhere, I'd have to, like, buy a ticket to go somewhere, right? I'd have to kind of look at, like, I'd have to buy a ticket, I'd have to go look through fucking RA to find the event. There's not, like, a bar I can just go to and hear the latest, you know, sick hip-hop album that just dropped that weekend play on the weekend. It doesn't exist, um, which is a real shame. 
The only thing I could think of back in the day that was like that was Visions. There was this place called Visions in Dawson that kind of was like the, the place to go to if you're like a you know a black person that kind of had way to hang out, but you didn't want to go to like a base, you know, Soho type of place. But then over time, that place got kind of corrupted and ended up having a, bit, a bunch of madness attached to it. And then it ended up kind of going under. But I think that's the next evolution. That's what, that's what we kind of next need to go because there's enough sick promoters there's enough sick party organizers out there. Like I said, the recesses of this ilk and a few other people out there, the R&B nights out here and a few other people who are doing sick events. I think they did one recently at Drum Sheds that was really pop, that was really, that went off really well and everyone seemed to enjoy it. There's enough people that are doing great raves. I think the next step now is to have a place, like a spot. Um, maybe it's called the spot, wherever it's fucking called, where people can go and hang out and feel comfortable and not feel like they're kind of impeding on the white man space when it comes to pubs um like i said it would it would be better if we could just co-op pubs and have those be our hangouts but they're not the closest thing i can see to that especially in the place in london that i live in is weatherspoons the weatherspoons in the hoods are usually a mix of people because they're in the hood like the one in fucking hackney that's across the road from the hackney empire that's a very kind of multicultural West weather spoons for the most part but those are the only ones but again do you really want to be hanging out in the spoons listening to fucking future i don't do you know what i mean it's way too bright in there it smells funky i'd want there's a place to be a little bit fun a little bit cooler and kind of make that work but again you know it's going to require the help and support of everybody in the community because one thing that we can also be certain for is that if you do create a space predominantly for black people um you know you're going to be inviting some ragamuffins into that space also who might end up you know done in a whole dance so it's probably going to take a lot of effort to ensure that these places don't get shut down because one thing that you know local councils and local police love to do is to kind of limit the amount of spaces that black and brown people can kind of enjoy and have fun with so the reason why i was talking about this is because of this tweet this young lady put out on social that went kind of viral on my side of the internet it's got 676 thousand fucking views on the old twitter and she said so there's really no hangout spots for black people in london unless it's an event nowhere to casual just to rock up without booking and buying a ticket exactly everything is fucking i think this is also an issue in the techno world in my kind of oots, oots, oots world, it's also an issue that all the events you go to have to require pre-booking. There's no sub, there's no such thing as spontaneity. You can't just rock up to a random place and go. You have to kind of prepare yourself. You have to kind of dress like a fucking techno ninja. You got to take your fucking ID with you. All this sort of nonsense, right? You can't just rock up somewhere, hear some good tunes and kind of dip. It doesn't exist. So let's read some of the replies of what people say here. Um honestly what does this even mean okay shut up this person's talking shit this person says all the same spots that everyone has access to i'd imagine another one says there's loads again these aren't good options for me box park like who wants to be who wants to spend their weekend at box park really for real going to box park is the equivalent of hanging out a little i swear to god it's the, it's the bar equivalent of hanging out a little like I'm not for that in the slightest. Spoons, I I probably prefer to go to Weather Spoons or go to a box park. I know that sounds insane, but I'd probably rather spend my night in the spoons than a fucking box park. Um La La some a place called La La Land. Be at one. Be at one, you know. This person has got honestly, whoever whoever this person's friends are, they need to throw this guy into the nearest fucking motorway. Be at one. <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck is going to be at one? Oh my god simmons london cocktail club o2 westfield unless you're fucking 19 why are you just going to be hanging out at westfield imagine oh my god okay this person's chatting the most oh if i could downvote this person's tweet i would downvote it another person says here any any genuine manifestation of culture in london appeared to have been eradicated and replaced with a sinister cult of local and friendly business okay i don't know what this person's talking about another one says prince of peckham queen of the south the haggerson and dawson i co-signed the haggerson and dawson i used to go there all the time back in the day i haven't been there in a long 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 time but the haggerson and dawson is probably one of the best pubs i think all around in london great vibe um gr you know great staff um, usually they have decent nights on with DJs and shit on the weekend. Um, they have a decent kitchen as well, pop up stuff. Um, last time I went there, there was a pretty decent person doing pizzas in there and shit. D nice prices, good pints, good laughs. Um, if you're in, you know, if you're single, ready to mingle, there's usually a couple baddies in there. So it's, it's a nice little place. I'm not gonna lie. Prince of Peckham, I've never been to. Queen of South, I've also never been to. Um, 
so those are probably worth an option as well let me actually let me actually bookmark this for another time um big up this person that was a good suggestion another one says i've been saying this we need pubs another one saying um you say this like we don't we don't hang out and haven't been hanging out in most places food joints parks block bb look all look all this fucking ghetto shit i don't want to hang out i don't want to turn my night into a i don't I, sorry i'm i'm not sure about you guys but I don't I don't want to turn restaurants into places to hang out. I think restaurants should be what they are. And if you want to go and have a turn up night, you can go to another place. Nowadays in London, because the events or because the spots are so terrible, restaurants have now kind of turned into quasi turn up places where most restaurants have really good cocktail menus. Most restaurants have good DJs or sound systems. Most restaurants are open quite late. So they're now turning into the new kind of late night spots. I don't think that's cool. I think we should be pushing our local governments, our local councils, our night czars, Amy fucking Lammy, you fat bitch, get yourself in order. All these people, we should be, we should, we should be pushing them into trying to fucking put back um and make a thing of having late night spots like cocktail bars and clubs reopen once again not trying to you know um crowbar um restaurants into being those new things and kind of making them an all size a one size fits all type of thing i don't want that personally another one says box park lol exactly thank you for saying that my friend another person says you'll say things like this and then play the racism card imagine white people said can we hang out okay shut up um another person says prodigy northwest thank me later it's a vibe there Okay, there's a place called Prodigy in Northwest. This looks good. This girl's smiling very hard and she's got two drinks in her hand. Anyone carrying two drinks in one place is probably a good vibe in there. Another person says, I've noticed this question marks, which I assume you mean you're looking for. Okay, shut up. Another one says, I'm not from London, but what about roller skating rinks? Imagine going to a roller skating rink over the age of 21. You must be having a laugh. Another one says, just go to a bar, rooftop bar, box. Honestly, imagine going to Box Park as a place to hang out i don't really know either way um there does need to be a change uh, most likely i will probably try to be that change as much as i would love to open up a nightclub i think being able to open up a good little spot that black people can go and hang out in or feel comfortable in that plays sick music that has you know a good system that has a good vibe that has decent drinks selection good cocktails that has the most important thing that black people would love um a wall with like foliage so everyone could take pictures or like a neon sign that says you know too lit to quit or something you know that's type of shit do that and you'll fucking kill it right and i'll call it the spot or something right or call it zings zingers or something right zingers bar <laughs> and people queue up and go crazy that would be fucking amazing so maybe i need to do that and start myself instead of you know going to the white side and making my oot 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 part fucking club and trying to destroy fold maybe what i should be doing is opening up a fucking first of its kind of cool hangout black pub that is actually a vibe to go hang out in that might be the way forward that might be the way forward